Mario's Pizza offers a party at $4.85 per child with a $50 fee for the cake and playground supervisor write and solve an inequality that shows the number of kids you can attend on a $155 budget okay so I'm gonna help you out a little bit let's try plugging in numbers if two kids went to the party what would the cost be it's four eighty five per child with a $50 fee so what's the cost write it down and press pause if you need to. Always use pause and full screen if you need to. And skip ahead if you're bored. Okay, that's okay. Uh, always check your answers though. Make sure they're the same as what I have. Uh, if I'm right. 485 times 2 would be the cost of two children plus $50, right? So whatever that is. If 10 kids went, what would the cost be? Wouldn't it be 485 times 10 kids times 10 plus $50? So if X kids went to the party, what would the cost be in terms of X, where X represents the number of children? Wouldn't it be 485 times X plus 50? Okay. So the cost of the party can be represented by this. What we want is our cost, we have a $155 budget, so we want our cost to be less than $155. Now, is that correct exactly, or could the cost be equal to $155 also? If this is your budget, doesn't that mean the cost could be less than or equal to $155, right? So in any case, your 485x plus 50 must be less than or equal to 155. Write and solve an inequality that shows the number of kids who can attend on this budget. This is what we're doing. This is the inequality, and now we're going to solve it, okay? So we just need to subtract 50 from both sides, and we get 485x is less than or equal to 105. And divide by both sides by 485. And we get x on this side. Now we subtracted that the inequality stays the same. We divided by a positive. Inequality stays the same direction, doesn't it? So now we just need to go 105 divided by 4.85. So 105 divided by 4.85. Press enter. And it looks like 21.65 approximately. And the question is, are we done? Is that the answer? What does X represent, by the way? X represents number of children, doesn't it? So can we possibly ever have 21.65 children, or would that be... Um, murder or you know you can't chop them up and make 0.65 of a child now can you that's not okay is it so the question is do we round this number up or do we round this number down if we have a hundred and fifty five dollars can 22 children go to the party because if you check that 485 times 22 plus 50 would be what? Um, 4.85 times 22 plus 50, press enter, so clear and then second enter, so we can, it would be 156.70, so that is above the budget if 22 went. So what's the maximum number of children that can go to the party? 21, right? And check it. Second entry, second enter, and go change that 22 to 21. Press enter, and you get that 151.85. So we saw this in the previous video. Second entry, because if you see enter button above there is entry, so second enter brings back the last entry, and then you can go back and change that number 
if you like, okay? So if 21 children go, that is below the budget. So our answer is, in fact, X needs to be less than or equal to 21, and that is the answer, okay? Denver, budget charges $59.95 plus 49 cents per mile for a 26-foot moving truck, moving house, moving truck, okay? U-Haul charges $39.95 plus 79 cents per mile for the same truck. Write and solve an inequality to show for what mileage Penske is cheaper. Okay? So let's have a look at this. We'll start with budget. And I'll lay it out as easily as I can for you. If, if you went 10 miles, how much would budget cost? Budget cut charges fifty nine ninety five plus forty nine cent per mile. So wouldn't the cost be fifty nine ninety five plus zero point four nine times ten, right? So plus four ninety. So whatever that is. If you went a hundred miles, the cost would be what? If you went x miles, what would the cost be? If you went a hundred miles, they would charge you your fifty nine ninety five plus zero point four nine times one hundred, wouldn't they? If you went X miles, what would they charge you with budget? They charge you the base fee of 59.95 plus 0 0.49 times X, right? So how about Penske? If you went 10 miles with Penske, what would the cost be? Penske, oh, wrong one. I should have said, um, yeah, instead of U-Haul, I should put Penske. Here we go. So you, instead of U-Haul, put Penske to make it consistent. Okay. So Penske instead of, charges thirty nine ninety five plus seventy nine cent per mile. So if you go ten miles with Penske, that's the cost is thirty nine ninety five, right? Now it's seventy nine cent per mile. So isn't that zero point seven nine times ten or seven dollars ninety for your mileage, right? If you go hundred miles at thirty nine ninety five plus 0 0.79 times 100, or $79 for the mileage added to this. If you go X miles, what's the cost? 39.95 plus 0 0.79 times X, isn't it? Now, write and solve an inequality to show for what mileage Penske is cheaper. So we want Penske cheaper than budget. How would we write that as an inequality? The Penske cost would be what to the bu budget cost compared to it? Would you have it less than or greater than, less than or equal to, or greater than or equal to? In here, put in the proper inequality that goes there. Less than, greater than, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, which one? Well, the Penske cost needs to be less than, simply less than, not less than or equal to, because cheaper means less than, just less than, not less than or equal to. Penske cost is represented by 39.95 plus 0.79x, okay? That needs to be less than the budget cost, which was 59.95 plus 0.49x. So your Penske cost needs to be less than the budget cost, okay? So now go ahead and solve the inequality. So how would we do that? Well, my first instinct, let's see. Let's subtract 39.95 from both sides. Okay. Then we get 0.79x is less than, less than, and this makes um, 20, right? Plus 0.49x. So now go ahead and subtract 0.49x from both sides. And you get this minus this, 0.30x is less than 20. 
Okay. So divide both sides by 0 0.30. And we divide it by a positive. So notice that the sign stays the same. We subtracted the inequality, same direction, subtracted inequalities in the same direction. Then we divide by a positive inequalities in the same direction. And I might need to use the calculator on this one, 20, 20 divided by uh, 0 0.366.66. X is less than 66.66 miles. 66.66 repeating, which is in fact um, 60, because 0 0.666 repeating is what fraction? It's two-thirds, isn't it? So that's 66 and two-thirds miles exactly. So if you go less than 66 and two-thirds miles, Penske is a cheaper deal, okay? More than 66 and two-thirds miles, budget is cheaper. You know, and again, well, how would we check something like this? Well, you could plug in the left-hand side, go 39.95 plus 0 0.79 times um, 66.66 uh, and see what happens. And then in the right-hand side, you've got 59.95. plus 0 0.49 times your 66.66, and these should turn out to be the same because we're just solving an inequality, okay? Uh, uh, an equality is just like an equation, so both sides should be the same. So if you plug down into both sides, uh, 39.95 plus, plus uh, 0 0.79 times 66.66, and that gives... 9260 that's the cost of Penske would be 9261 approximately and then for budget um, if I go second entry I can just change that to 5995 and then change that to 0 0.49 and press enter and again the cost is $92.61 so if you go 66 and 2 thirds the cost is the same for each it's um, approximately $92.61 Okay, so that's how you can check your inequality. And also, you know, we didn't divide by a negative, so the, the, the sign stayed the same direction.